welcome to this, and this will be my review for Dragon Gate's Enter the Dragon 2010 pay-per-view, um, which of course aired Friday, but given the fact that my cable company doesn't carry the pay-per-view, I had to wait until I could find it, um, and I did, um, though that shouldn't be a problem anymore because Go Fight Live is going to start airing, for those of you that are not aware, is going to start airing the pay-per-views, so that will be good. Um, we're going to get internet pay-per-views of that. So that should be good, that should be fun, that should be all of that, and so much more. So, let's, but let's talk about this show. This show um, was, of course, the Brian Danielson show, which took place uh, the, the Chikara weekend, um, or the Dragon Gate weekend for Chikara, as Chikara had one of their big shows the day after this. And um, I will say this, the video quality for this was better, the audio quality for this was better, the backstage promos were better, they actually had the Japanese guys do promos and then actually had, uh, actually had translations. Um, they did a lot of things that they probably should have been doing from not from the first pay-per-view to some degree, and definitely a lot of stuff they should have been doing from probably the third pay-per-view. So that is good. Um, and really, the only my only gripe really is that you know that the the non Dragon Gate guys that they use, and this is probably going to be a continuous gripe of mine. Um, I, I just wish they would use some other guys. There, there's definitely better guys, in my opinion, that they could bring in um, to work the Dragon Gate style match that than the guys that they're using. I understand they want to use young, you know, indie guys that maybe a lot of people don't know because they will be cheaper. But and they use a lot of, of Chikara guys, um, probably for kind of the same reason. But it's still, and you know, what it is. Um, but anyway, as far as the matches go, um, we had. Um, the opener with Sima and uh, Johnny Gar 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 ah, Gargano um, was good, um, which, you know, th this is one of my problems because Sima is so much better than this. Sima can pretty much, should be able to go out there and, and put on great matches, single matches, and just didn't have that happen. Um, it was still a good match. Um, you know, it was kind of a storyline match. We did have Sima do his broken English thing, which is, yeah, to me, but, oh well. Uh, the fans ate it up. There were a lot of fans here. This this was, I guess, the biggest show since the first show, um, or the, I guess, what, the first Chicago show. I guess this is the biggest, so since the second show, I guess this was the biggest crowd, um, which is good, and then I'm imagining the next uh, pay-per-view tapings, the Chicago tapings, will probably be the same way, um, because of Brian Danielson. And then we'll probably, then we'll have to wait and see if they can, you know, keep bringing people in. But uh, the crowd like this um, was pretty good. I mean, they had some pretty good comedy stuff as far as um, Johnny kind of mimicking Sema and uh, some pretty good moves. Um, it was a good match. Um, not great, but it was good. Then we got Spot Fest, and a great Spot Fest. And the type of Spot Fest that I wish TNA would let the X Division guys do when they want them to just go out there and do a Spot Fest. Um, this was Adam Cole, Eric Cannon, Chuck Taylor, and Ricochet. <clears throat> this was great. Um, they went out there, did a bunch of spots. They were given time to, to do spots. It wasn't just like, you know, in TNA, when they do the X Division matches, often we get, like, spot, 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 spot. And we were getting spots, but it was like spot, 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 crazy spot. Another crazy spot, not you know crazy spot, crazy spot, crazy, you know it wasn't type of that. It, it was it was slowed down enough until it did start picking up to where it was a lot. It was it was great in my opinion. Um, not a lot of psychology. Really didn't need it. Four guys just going out there doing a bunch of great moves. I liked it a lot. It was it was a great match. Enjoyed it. Um, we had Derek Younger taking on Norky Doi. Um, this was okay. It's pretty much it. Um, then we had Scott Reed and Rick, Sh what, Rick Swan, I guess his name was, and they came out. It was kind of like, who are these guys? And then Brody Lee came out and killed them and got himself over as, I guess, the giant of the promotion, which which should be good because he'll definitely tower over everyone that they'll probably bring in <clears throat> and uh, should be able to do some fun things with, I would imagine, some of the... Uh, Dragon Gate guys and, and just some of the smaller indie guys that they bring in. Uh, then we had uh, Kamikaze USA taking on Chikara, um, and this was this was this was a lot of fun. This was a great match, a lot of good spots. Um, 
there was an angle with um, there was an angle in the middle of it, um, which was okay, I guess. Uh, which we saw Jimmy Jacobs come back, and that was eh, what it was. Um, but again, you know, again using guys that American guys that you know is kind of like and eh, though Jigsaw and, and and Quack I could see and even Grand Puma I could see, but yeah. Anyways, um, it was it was what it was, but it was a great match, and 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 the all the eliminations made sense. Um, was, they gave them time. This is I love matches, elimination matches like this, so I love this. So there you go. Uh, then we have the main event: BB Hulk taking on uh, Machizu ah, Mechizuki, I guess I can't remember how to pronounce his name now. Oh well, it's two. It's almost three o'clock in the morning, so forgive me. Um, but uh. This was good, I would say very good, maybe. Um, I'm not big on BB Hulk matches when he's as, as the champion. I don't, I don't think any of the title matches have been all that great. I mean, that's unfortunate. Um, but they went out there, did their thing. Um, you know, probably went a little too long. Uh, I think it peaked, and then they, you know, kind of kept going, which is, you know, gay, gay booking 101, um, unfortunately. But it was, it, it was what it was. Um, after the match, uh, we had weird, crazy, dead-looking lady came out um, to, you know, do the thing with Hulk, and then uh, Kamikaze came out and and, and killed Hulk um, after that, and it was just kind of like, wow. Um, but overall, I would say it was, even though it doesn't sound like it, but it was, it was one of those shows you have to see, because a lot of the things, even though I don't sound excited about it, a lot of the things worked. Uh, you know, the elimination tag worked very good. The four-way was really good. Even the stuff that, like, I, I didn't, like, like, I, I thought at least worked. Um, the backstage promos, I thought, looked better. The picture looked better. This was, as I said, this this seemed to me what the third pay-per-view should have been. And um, in some ways, even the first. Because, you know, the, the, the very people putting on this pay-per-view were the exact same people who were putting on the ROH pay-per-views. So really, you know, you're, you're, you're progressing, and it didn't seem like they had progressed beyond that. This was far, far better than a lot of that stuff. So it was good to see. I really did enjoy the show. I, I thought, as I said, the elimination tag I thought was really good, and I thought the four-way was, was was great. I thought both were great, actually. I gave them both the same rating. Um, the pro release stuff, at least, was kind of good. Um, you know, and then everything else, everything there was nothing bad on the show, and I think that and for two hours, hey, you can't really complain that much. So with that, um, I'm out. Have a good one. Check this out. Definitely check it out on the DVD. I was mad at it is, you know, it is missing, um, you know, the Brian Danielson match, which um, he, took, he took on Shingo, and I believe, and that should be awesome. So I, just off of, you know, what we saw, you add in, you know, that match, and it should be an awesome DVD, and so I would definitely recommend checking that out when it comes out. So with that, um, I am out. Have a good one. Um, definitely recommend the pay-per-view if you get a chance to find it somewhere. Um, it's glad I'm glad that they're going to be on Go Fight Live starting on October because, uh, to be honest, um, yeah, uh, I, you know, them not being on my pay-per-view provider kind of sucked um, because a lot of these guys I do like. I, I do like Dragon Dragon Gate, even though I, you know, I'm not, I'm not big on the, a lot of the pay-per-views, and I think some of the pay-per-views are really under-delivered. But maybe this will be a good start. Maybe maybe this will start something new. We'll have to wait and see. But with that, I'm out. Have a good one. Later.